July 21st, 2008, 210 days before the end of analog television. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. If you want to understand the real end of broadcast television, read my commentary about how NBC's co-head of programming is managing for margins, not ratings. My article is based on a quote from Ben Silverman, but this is not an NBC problem. It's an industry problem, a trend with an unfortunate end. Read Ben Silverman's comments on margins versus ratings signal the end of broadcast broadcast television on my blog at ShellyPalmer.com. In other news, Batman The Dark Knight took in a record $155.3 million this weekend, beating the previous record holder, Spider-Man 3. At the water cooler today, remember to tell everyone that The Dark Knight was also released at 100 IMAX theaters and received a boost from IMAX ticket sales, which cost about $5 more on average than a regular movie ticket. You'll sound like an insider. NBC will begin showing Late Night with Jimmy Fallon online before Fallon takes over for Conan O'Brien next year. They're not saying where online. My guess is Hulu, but you never know. The web is a very, very big place. AT&T is expected to show a large drop in landlines and slow growth in its wireless business when its second quarter earnings are announced on Wednesday. Since June, AT&T's stock has fallen roughly 10%. Apple is expected to report its earnings today amidst rumors of Steve Jobs' declining health. Jobs, who's a survivor of pancreatic cancer, has had analysts concerned since his appearance at the Worldwide Developers Conference, where he appeared extremely thin. Much of the concern over Jobs' health stems from the lack of a named successor, as well as the fact that he a man. Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bites, I'm Shelley Palmer.